Have you ever gazed at the grandeur of the pyramids and wondered, how did they actually build these architectural marvels? These colossal structures, rising from the desert sands, have captivated our imaginations for centuries. The pyramids are more than just breathtaking monuments. They serve as a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of an ancient civilization. They are the royal tombs of Egypt's pharaohs, embodying their journey towards immortality. The pyramids have been a subject of endless fascination and debate among historians and archaeologists alike, with theories as intriguing as the structures themselves. Some believe that the pyramids were designed as a stairway for the pharaoh's ka, or life force, to ascend to the heavens. This theory paints a vivid picture of the pharaoh's ka climbing the steps of the pyramid, reaching out towards the celestial bodies, and joining the gods in their eternal journey across the sky. Another theory suggests that the pyramids symbolize the primeval mound of creation. In ancient Egyptian mythology, it was on this mound that the god Adam created the world. Thus, the pyramids may represent this mound, a physical manifestation of the birth of the universe, standing as a beacon of life amidst the lifeless desert. Then there are those who propose that the pyramids represent sun rays spreading to the earth. The Egyptians worshipped the sun god Ra, and it's plausible that the pyramids with their pointed tops and broad bases were built to mirror the rays of the sun spreading warmth and life across the land. Regardless of which theory resonates with you, one thing is certain. The construction of the pyramids was a monumental task that required immense planning, resources, and manpower. A task so grand, it continues to baffle us even today. Now let's embark on a journey back in time to explore the monumental task of pyramid construction. Before a single stone was laid, meticulous planning was essential. The process of planning the pyramids was no small task. It was an endeavor that required an exceptional understanding of astronomy, mathematics, and architecture. The chosen location for the pyramids was not random. Each pyramid was carefully positioned with astronomical precision. The ancient Egyptians studied the heavens, tracking the movement of the stars. They were particularly interested in the constellation of Orion, which they associated with Osiris, the god of rebirth and afterlife. The pyramid's alignment with the cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, was another crucial aspect of their design. The accuracy of this alignment, even by today's standards, is awe-inspiring. The proximity to the Nile was also a significant factor in the planning process. The river's annual flooding brought rich, fertile soil, making it an ideal place for a civilization to thrive. More importantly, the Nile served as a natural highway for transporting the massive stones used in the pyramid's construction. Once the location was selected, the design process began. This involved blueprinting the pyramid's dimensions. The architects of ancient Egypt did not have access to modern tools or technology, yet they were able to calculate dimensions and angles with incredible accuracy. They used simple tools like plumb bobs, cubit rods, and sighting instruments to create a blueprint of the pyramid. The calculation of the required materials was another feat of planning. It involved determining the volume of stone needed for the pyramid, which was a complex mathematical task. They also had to plan for the tools, ropes, and other materials that would be needed during construction. The planning of the pyramids was a testament to the intelligence and ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians. It was not just about building a structure, it was about creating a monument that would stand the test of time. With the blueprint ready, the next phase was to gather the workforce and materials. The pyramid's construction was a monumental task, but with careful planning the Egyptians laid the groundwork for one of the world's most enduring mysteries. The pyramid construction was not merely an architectural feat but also a logistical marvel. The colossal pyramids of Giza standing tall and proud are silently eloquent of the mammoth task that their creation entailed. It was a task that demanded the mobilization of thousands of workers, each playing a unique role in the grand design. Imagine, if you will, an army of workers, a sea of humanity, all singularly focused on one objective. The construction of the pyramids. This vast workforce encompassed a wide array of roles. At the helm were skilled artisans and architects, the masterminds behind the grand design. They were the ones who transformed an abstract vision into a tangible blueprint. Then. They were the laborers, the backbone of the operation. It was their sweat and toil that breathed life into the architect's designs. They were the ones who transformed individual blocks of stone into a coherent structure. And let's not forget the role of the overseers who, 
ensured that everyone was pulling in the same direction, that every cog in the wheel was working as it should. Now, let's turn our attention to the materials. The primary material used in pyramid construction was limestone sourced from quarries along the Nile. The transportation of these massive limestone blocks was a feat in itself. Imagine, if you will, these enormous blocks, each weighing several tons being transported across miles of challenging terrain. It's a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the ancient Egyptians that they were able to overcome such daunting challenges. Intricate networks of canals were created to facilitate the transportation of these blocks. These canals connected the quarries to the construction site, allowing the limestone blocks to be transported by boat. This ingenious solution not only expedited the transportation process, but also minimized the physical strain on the workers. With the workforce and materials in place, the actual construction could commence. The stage was set for one of the greatest architectural feats in human history, a feat that would leave an indelible mark on the annals of time. The actual construction of the pyramids was a task of immense proportions. The process was similar to a giant intricate puzzle, with every piece needing to fit just right. The primary tools in the ancient Egyptians' arsenal were likely ramps, sledges, and levers. Ramps, made from mud, stone, and wood, provided the means to haul the colossal stone blocks up to their required height. These ramps are believed to have been either straight, zigzagged, or spiraled around the pyramid, depending on the architectural needs of the time. Next, enter the sledges. Imagine large wooden sleds, upon which the hefty stone blocks were placed. Teams of workers would then pull these sledges up the ramps. It's believed that water was used to wet the sand, reducing friction and making the heavy hauling somewhat easier. It's a testament to the ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians that they could move such massive weights with such rudimentary technology. The levers, another essential tool, were probably used for the final positioning of the blocks. These levers would have allowed the workers to make minute adjustments to ensure that each block fit perfectly with its neighbors. The precision required here was staggering. The blocks had to be aligned correctly, not just for aesthetic reasons, but also to ensure the stability of the entire structure. But what about the blocks themselves? They were cut and shaped with copper tools, a feat that still baffles many today. The stones had to be quarried, then shaped into the precise dimensions required for each specific location in the pyramid. This required not only physical strength, but also an in-depth understanding of geometry and design. The construction of the pyramids was not a quick process. It took years, even decades, of relentless toil. But the result? An architectural marvel that has stood the test of time. A testament to human ingenuity and determination. After years of relentless toil, the pyramid would finally stand complete. The completion of the pyramids marked a pinnacle in ancient engineering. These stunning structures, once considered the most ambitious projects of their time, were not simply erected overnight. The final stages involved meticulous precision and an attention to detail that is staggering even by today's standards. One of the final steps in the pyramid's construction was the installation of the outer casing. This process involved the careful placement of polished limestone blocks, each precisely cut to ensure a snug fit. This casing wasn't merely decorative, it served a practical purpose as well. It helped to protect the inner structure from the harsh desert elements, ensuring the pyramid's longevity. And then came the crowning glory, the installation of the capstone. This was often gilded or covered in precious metals, reflecting the sun's rays and making the pyramid gleam from miles away. A symbol of the sun god Ra, it served as a beacon, a celestial guide for the pharaoh's Ka, his spiritual double, on its journey to the afterlife. But these pyramids weren't just grand tombs, they were also a testament to the beliefs and culture of the ancient Egyptians. Some theories suggest these pyramids may symbolize the ancient mound of creation or represent sun rays spreading to the earth. They were a stairway to the heavens, a link between the mortal realm and the divine. And here we are, thousands of years later, still marveling at these magnificent structures. They continue to puzzle and intrigue us. Their construction techniques and their true purpose still subjects of debate among historians and archaeologists. From their precise alignment with the stars to the intricate interior chambers, every detail of these pyramids speaks of an advanced civilization, of people who valued precision, who revered their gods, 
and who believed in life after death. The pyramids, standing as a testament to human ingenuity, continue to captivate us with their mystery and grandeur. They beckon us to explore, to learn, and to appreciate the marvels of human achievement. And as we delve deeper into their mysteries, we gain a deeper understanding of not just the pyramids, but of ourselves as well.